Did you call bank? I call game. What's up, Pack Nation? It's Pack Gaming here. I'm excited to bring this video to you guys. So I made top five biggest busts in NBA 2K18 as rookies, and how I did that, and that was like a week ago. Yeah, we go, go, we go, go. <laughs> how I did that was I got the five players that had their ratings change the most negatively through the whole 2017 year. But now we're gonna flip that, we're gonna reverse it. We're doing the players that from the start of NBA 2K18 till now have had the biggest increase. So these rookies are considered the most surprising rookies in NBA 2K18. And I'm gonna have to get that started right now. So to start this list off at number five, we're gonna start with Jordan Bell. Now Jordan Bell was a 70 overall to start NBA 2K18 before any roster update had happened. And now he is a 75 overall. I know it says 71 overall, but see it says minus four because he's had a sore ankle for the past couple games but he is a 75 overall according to 2k now he's only been averaging five points a game and four rebounds but he's also been averaging a block a game and think about this he's only been doing it for 14 minutes a game as a rookie on the best team in the nba you can argue that all you want but let's be real the warriors are the best team in the nba he really has fit into the system pretty well for being a rookie i think he surprised everyone for how he's been playing and on top of it all he's just a really really solid defender for being a rookie. At number four, it is rookie John Collins. Now, John Collins was a 73 overall to start NBA 2K18, and right now he's a 78 overall. John Collins is a power forward who is really, really good at dunking. He's been averaging 11 points per game, seven rebounds, which is actually pretty nice, and it's been in only 22 minutes a game. Now, you can make the argument that he's playing for the Hawks and they don't really have anyone to do things, so. He's, he's putting up good numbers on a bad team. That's an argument people like to make. But I personally believe he's actually really, really good. He's really athletic. That really works in the NBA no matter what position you are. He's getting boards. He's playing good defense. I think he'll end up being a pretty good player in the near future. He's only 20 years old. He's playing for the Hawks. who has a perfect environment to be the main guy on this team. Because in the next three years, only Dennis Schroeder is the guy that like you could think would be that type of player. Besides him, it's John Collins, honestly maybe not even Terry on Prince he's not even that good yet so yeah John Collins five plus overall really good at number three it is Celtics player Jason Tatum now Jason Tatum's only 19 years old and he was a 77 overall to start 2k and now an 82 overall this is extremely impressive in my opinion to go up into the 80 overall club and a team that well is honestly one of the best teams in the NBA. They're actually playing against the Warriors tonight. We'll see who wins. And Jason Tatum is not even the main guy, and yet he's putting up big numbers as a rookie on one of the best teams in the NBA. He's getting 14 points per game, six rebounds. However, he is playing a lot of minutes. He's playing 31 minutes a game, but his three-point field goal percentage is insane for a rookie. I really do believe he is one of the best players in this draft and will be one of the best players in the future. People compare him to Melo. I see little things here and there, but he really is his own player. And he's so young on a team that is honestly pretty young besides Al Horford. We'll see how things turn out when Gordon Hayward comes back, but still Jason Tatum, awesome player on an awesome team. Now for our second person on this list, and that is Kyle Kuzma. Now, the thing about Kyle Kuzma is that he's a rookie on, well, the most famous franchise in basketball. And not only that, he's putting up the most numbers on the team right now the most points per game with 17 points per game on 30 minutes a game. He's also grabbing six rebounds. Kyle Kuzma is slowly becoming a really, really nice player. And if he continues to be the best player on this team scoring wise in the near future, this is going to be one of the biggest names of basketball. If he continues to increase and play as good as he has been playing, who knows how good he's going to end up being. He was a 72 overall to start NBA 2K18 and now he's a 78 overall, so a six plus difference. He's super young. Him and I honestly believe Lonzo Ball will be really good in the near future and they could be the face of this franchise really soon. And at number one, the most surprising player of NBA 2K18, it is rookie Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell was supposed to be a 75 overall in NBA 2K18 at the start and ended up becoming an 82 overall. This dude, ignore every stat you want everything this dude's dunks are insane if you've, if you've ever seen any one of donovan mitchell's dunks they're one of the coolest looking dunks you'll ever see they're explosive he like uh, kills he murders the rim it's awesome he's getting 19 points in 32 minutes so he is playing a lot of minutes but still 19 points a game he actually might be leading scorer i think he actually i think he is i mean i might be wrong 
I didn't check. I'm not gonna lie, but I think he is leading scorer. He's the youngest dude on this team. Look at that. 21 years old. Everyone's 25, 26, 25. Dude, Donovan Mitchell, because this team isn't even that bad and he's getting pretty good numbers. Think about that. When it comes to this draft, I know Ben Simmons is really good and he's probably gonna win rookie of the year. But if Ben Simmons wasn't considered a rookie this season, Donovan Mitchell would probably be rookie of the year. I used to think it was Jason Tatum, but honestly, Donovan Mitchell is just such a baller right now, dude. But what do you guys think? Who is the most surprising player in NBA 2K18, in your opinion? Leave it in the comments below. If you like my channel, guys, please give my channel a sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Did you call a bank?